Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, so what we're doing today is uh, installing a couple of culverts on our property. Uh, and what these are, they're, uh, they're 15 inch, 20 foot long culverts. And uh, we're gonna be putting one right here to, to drain the water out right here. As you can see, it, it, it comes down through here pretty heavily. So we're gonna bury one right here. We're gonna be putting one across the road right here.
Okay, so this side of the, of the culvert is done. Let's, let's go over to the next side. to see us right here. I don't know how or why, but this baby is asleep on the ride. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, like I said, this this is nothing like a, what a what a Cobra installation from us would actually look like. This this would be much prettier. And I I'll give you an example of uh, what one of those would look like. It would look closer to what this looks like over here, but you know a lot better. Okay, so this is where we're going to be putting in our next Cobra. It's going to be going uh, right across the road right here, coming out right here and uh, washing down into there. So we decided to do it this way because uh, it's, it was much cheaper than, than putting culverts all the way down where our, where our driveway is, uh, where we put all of our trailers and our equipment. So we just figured, you know, run it across the road right here and uh, should fix things. We got some blacktop right there that we're gonna put back down.
so he's fixing to push this tree over. Okay, so to get all this in here right, all the all the quick quick creek to dig this top section of the ditch off. So yeah, that's definitely the best way to, to get this stuff worked in is just by running over it a couple million times. And it, uh, it basically levels itself up and uh, looks really good. I'm just gonna do a couple of, I'm just gonna pat it down in a couple of places where it made, where, where, where it left ridges uh, from the tracks. But other than other than those, uh, that that's really the only way to do this. You once that stuff's down in there, you you can't really pack it with uh, you can't really spread that stuff out. So you just gotta mash it around. So that's basically done. That's the first time that we've ever used first time that we've ever used that stuff so it's uh really the only way to tell if it's any good is uh time time will tell
Okay, so I'm gonna try to make this look more like a cobra head that uh, we would install. Keep in mind what I'm using is old uh, concrete blocks that we got off another job. We, we had to tear up a bunch of sidewalks and porches and, and uh, there was a lot of blocks underneath the concrete porches, uh, cement blocks. So that's what I'm using. And we're, we're just kind of recycling those. So back in the day when they started doing this, uh, putting the rock around the culvert, it wasn't to, you know to make it look good. It was because the, the rock holds the uh, the culvert head uh, down, and it also keeps the water from washing the dirt back from around the culvert. Uh, we let that go for a couple of years, just, just bald like this. Uh, it would probably wash all the way back to where our black top starts. So you can't do that. The water is going to be coming down from that dish right there, making its way into here, and so that's the way I kind of U-shaped it like that. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's that's more what it would look like if we were doing something like this for a customer. Except it would, you know, honestly look better because this is all concrete. Okay, so uh, I, this video is getting pretty uh, long. Uh, we still have one more culvert to put in down the road, but uh, I guess this is kind of the end of that video. Uh, we still got a lot of things we, we we're wanting to do. We're wanting to put a we're wanting to put a uh, a shipping container building over here, uh, thirty foot that way. But anyway. Uh, Till next time.